A couple of months ago, one of my subscribers sent me a team built around a fairly niche mon regulation C, being Espathra. But what if I told you this Espathra was no ordinary Espathra, but instead, this was meant to be an offensive win con? Today, I want to find out if Espathra has its potential to be an offensive win con in regulation C, and why it might be a better option than you think. If you guys enjoy and you want to see some more content like this, of course, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what mons you guys want to see me try next. This is going to be our last Regulation C video of the channel, however, if you want to submit your teams for Regulation D for me to try in the future, make sure to join the Discord link down below, because next week when I'm back from my trip to NISC, I'll be making sure to try some of your guys' teams on stream and try and get some of the best games featured on the channel. With that said, shout out to Kurt as well for editing this video as always, and let's get right into it. So for starters, let's go over today why Espathra is even being used to competitive this generation and what makes it typically so good. Espathra typically is a fairly fast Pokemon with a base 105 speed and the ability Speed Boost, which makes you gain one speed every turn Espathra's on the field. It's a rather potent ability for offensive teams, especially because Espathra can use this to be a really good support Pokemon. Typically, you'll see this run dual screens with Hypnosis, and it partners with a Gravity Sandy Shocks in in order to allow Espathra to become a really fast screen setter as well as a really good sleep machine. Usually Espathra would run the Focus Ash item in tandem with the Terra Ghost Typing in order to avoid random big out users like Iron Hands that would typically get in your way, allowing you to be really deadly in the right hands. Espathra was by no means a meta defining pick, but in Series 2 this core actually was fairly noteworthy in early format, and it at least was a niche core that had a lot of high potential for rewards. But what about in Regulation C? Has Espathra actually seen any success? Not really, but today we're going to attempt to try and change this with a win con Espathra route. I was sent this by fan of the channel Charles aka Tempo VGC, and it's a pretty fun concept. The team features Screen's Grimmsnarl to enable the core of Combine Espathra and Choice Scarf Chiyu to take lives. Chiyu will be a strong way to clear steals, meanwhile Espathra can boost the overall damage output thanks to not only Beads of Ruin from Chiyu, but also with moves like Calm Mind in order to pressure Pokemon that are Fighting type or Dragon type that might get in Chiyu's way overall. With our other three Pokemon, this team features Dragonite, Fluttermane, and Gyarados, which are overall really just strong mons in this format that can deal some really good damage. Fluttermane uses the Life Orb in order to partner with Chiyu for insane damage output, meanwhile Gyarados and Dragonite feature a rather good surprising lure due to the fact that our Gyarados is actually going to be the offensive mom choice band, meanwhile Dragonite is going to be a Citrus Berry Tailwind option instead. Typically speaking in a lot of open sheet formats you'll see Gyarados be the support Pokemon with moves like Thunder Wave and Helping Hand, and Dragonite be a really good bandit support, but hopefully in close sheet format this can catch some people off guard. I'm unsure how we'll do with this in practice, but at least in theory I feel like this is really good. However, I'm a little bit concerned with setting up a Spather with no support Pokemon like Mouseholder and Didi or Amoongus that could have maybe redirected damage. But with Screens and Chiyu, I think we'll be a lot less reliant on setup to win most games due to the fact that Terra Fairy Gleam might do enough damage. So I'm hoping to maybe reach Master Ball today. So right off the bat, I did get a couple notes on how to use the team, thankfully. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, test me hit me up. Um, let's see, okay, okay. So, some things to note is that this team should be decent for this should be decent for like tinglu we're not fighting tinglu that's fine um we have about like 30 seconds left oh okay okay so i'm gonna proceed to lead off with grimstone i think grim's really good here and then espatha um espatha should be decent too i'm gonna bring fluttermane in the back i think and then i think the last one should be chiu um, I feel confident in this comp specifically. I kind of wish I was Booster Fluttermane in all honesty at this point, uh, but I, I want to try and stay true to what we have, and I think it should be decent overall for this matchup. So we'll we'll see what we can pull off. I feel confident that I should be fine. Best of luck to my opponent, of course, and yeah, let's let's get started. So, in terms of my opponent's lead, I'm anticipating the Snow Core in all honesty. I think it's really good against this team. Uh, can Gambit and Dragon? Oh, okay, that's not what I was expecting. But I'll take it still. Uh, this should still actually be fairly decent to muscle. Um, essentially, my game plan should always be to protect turn one and then go for a reflect. Um, the reflect should be decent. Uh, protect, obviously, is, it's protect. Um, after Grimmsnarl dies, which is, should be this turn for what it's worth, I don't think that Grim will live to the end of this turn. Because my guess is that Dragonite plus... Oh, actually, oh. Oh, so they're targeting Espathra. I'm fine with this. I'm actually really fine with this, especially if they're not going to go for any sort of raw attack. Because my Spath are so defense loaded, I think I could probably just take this. Um, Kowtow Cleave. So they're dual targeting his back. That's interesting. I'm not sure why this turn that they did that, but I'll more than take it. I can proceed to go for Parting Shot and Dragonite, which should be huge. Um, oh right, this is Misty Terrain. Okay, so this is a different version of the team. Um, I could still go for that, but I don't know if I need to. 
Um, I'll go for Spirit Break of the Dragonite. That should help with any sort of multi-scale. And then I'm gonna go for Calm Mind. Um, and then I'll go for another Protect into... Oh, shit. I meant to go for Terra Fairy here. Um, well, that might hurt a bit. But it's fine. Uh, they went for E-Speed, which didn't do a lot, mind you. But it did enough um, to where me not clicking the button here might actually hurt. Uh, Dragonite's Multi should be broken, though, so this should just die. Even if my opponent goes for Terra Normal, which is huge. Um, counter Weep is off. Ugh, don't do a lot. Don't do a lot. Ugh. Okay, that's fucking... That's too much. Um, okay, okay. So thankfully, I do have leftovers, which should be huge. Um, and I'll gain another speed boost here. I can proceed to just go for a, another Spirit Break here. In the Dragonite, and then I can go for a Protect. And then I'll wait to go for the Terra Fairy until the following turn. Um, and this should help a lot. They're gonna withdraw Dragonite. It's fine. They're gonna go into... What are they gonna go into? Fluttermane. Okay, so Fluttermane is here. Honestly, Fluttermane's not too bad. I can definitely kill Fluttermane. Their booster speed... Well, actually, their booster energy, I don't know if it's speed or not. Speed, okay, that's fine. So we're gonna weaken Fluttermane's special attack, which is huge, but even still, we should be overall pretty set here. Uh, King Gambit is gonna go for... What attack? Sucker Punch, okay. So this is fine. And then also Cow Cow. Uh, okay, so Fluttermane actually took a surprising amount from that. But I'll more than take this. Uh, this was also pretty helpful, just in case it was, like, Sash for some reason. Um, okay, so we're gonna get another speed boost here, which is pretty huge. Uh, my Spathra should definitely outpace at this point. We're plus three. Um, we are plus three, right? Um, yeah, we're plus three. We should definitely outpace Fluttermane at this point, even with just the four speed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna proceed to go for a Spirit Break into King Gambit. Uh, mostly just for the extra damage, to be honest. Um... And then I'm going to proceed to go for a Terra Fairy here and go for Dazzling Claim. Uh, I think this will, this will definitely kill Fluttermane. I'm not sure if it'll kill Gambit, though. Uh, truthfully, I might depend on if it's AV or not. Um, but uh, but worst case scenario, I can definitely pick this off with the Grim Snarl on the following turn, which should be good. Because I think most likely they are just gunning this Espatha, which should be fine. The Sucker Punch with Terra Fairy and Reflect will help. Because I should take like all of like 20 or 30. Yeah, 20 damage right there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So, Fluttermane should definitely die. Plus one Terra Fairy Gleam. No shot this thing takes it. Oh my god, that did nothing. Um, well that might kill... Oh, they're going for Grim. Okay, that's fine actually. Um, okay, so Gambit now is kind of a problem. Uh, the biggest reason is because that Defiant is now actually going to hurt me a lot. Um, whereas I could have maybe targeted Fluttermane here. I've been fine. Um, okay, so I need to let... I need to let Grim go down here. Because I could still take that plus two sucker punch, actually, thankfully. So I'm gonna spirit break the Fluttermane. If I kill it, I kill it. If not, that's fine too. Um, we're gonna hopefully bring in Chiu on the following turn, which will be huge. Uh, Chiu coming in will actually be super huge. Uh, because I'll deal more damage with the Spakra. Um, they're gonna protect. Ooh, that fucking sucks. That really sucks. Uh, that's still fine though. It's still actually fairly manageable, but it's just a little bit more gray is all. Um, but I can I can still make this work for sure. Because they went for Iron Head. Ooh, they went for it into Spathra. That's fine. If they're clicking Iron Head, it's not Sucker Punch. Which, I mean, they'll kill a Spathra, but I'm fine with making that trade. Um, okay. So, this should be okay. I can, if nothing else, kill the Fluttermane spot guaranteed, whether it switches or not. Um, I'll go for... What are their special threats? They don't really have any other special threats. How much longer does Grim have? Three turns of Reflect. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna make a... I'm gonna make an aggressive play here, and I'm gonna go into... I'm gonna go into Chiyu here. Because with Chiyu, I think I can kill with Gleam. I'm pretty sure I can kill with Gleam. Can I kill with Gleam? I don't know, only 25% more? I don't feel confident I can. I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna instead go into Fluttermane here. And then I'm gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam. No, I'm gonna go for a Sword Power. Final answer, I'm gonna go for Sword Power. Their only Dark type is the King Gambit, so this should be guaranteed kill. Uh, but I don't really like Grim being on the field. It doesn't really offer me much. And at least I can get him Flutterman and Chiyu on the next turn, which will actually benefit me a lot. Um, and even if they Iron Head the Fluttermain, that's fine. I'll get I'll get uh, a Spathra of Chiyu, which also works. Um, but I can't let Chiyu go down, because that's the big issue here. So I'm fine trading a Spathra. That's actually not too bad here. Because Chiyu will definitely take this E-Speed from Dragonite with a Reflect, even if my opponent sets the Terra. And Fluttermain and Chiyu should deal enough damage to my opponent to where... I should be kind of set. Uh, their only real way of pressuring this would be with, uh, I guess with Bundle coming in. So I'm more than okay with that. Um, okay. 
Ah, uh, Tusk comes in. Okay, Tusk coming in is also fine. Um, so the big issue with Tusk coming in is the fact that if this is Scarfed, that's a little bit problematic. But I think I could still manage. We're gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam here. And I'm gonna go for a Heat Wave here. And I think that'll just deal enough damage. Uh, the biggest concern would be, I guess, if they dual target my Fluttermane, that could be kind of a problem. Uh, but I know I could take this King Gambit hit for sure. They're gonna Terra Tusk, that's fine. It's probably gonna be Terra Ground. Terra Ground? No, they're gonna Terra Gambit. Okay, probably Terra Fire. Yeah, Terra Fire Gambit, okay. Ah, uh, it's still not too bad, actually. I'll be at... Actually, no, that could be kind of bad. That could actually be pretty bad. They probably take this hit with AV. Their Scarf Tusk. That's not great, but they didn't go for Sucker, which is huge. Chiu Heat Wave goes off. That's enough to pressure Tusk, at least. That's good. And then Clean goes off. Okay. So Gambit can only kill one of these, which is fine. Actually, that's really fine. And then Dragonite in the back. Uh, they probably are targeting Fluttermane for its worth. But I can live with that. I can live with that for sure. Chiu, I think, can still muscle. Um, Chiu can definitely muscle, actually. The issue will be Dragonite. But I think I can make that work. Because Dragonite should only have... Uh, it should still have to deal with one more turn of Reflect, thankfully. And I think with Heat Wave plus Spirit Break, I can actually deal enough damage to this King Gambit and be fine. Um, I'll need to dual target King Gambit, though. But that shouldn't be a huge concern. Because uh, I need to make sure that King Gambit can die. And that's the greater issue here. Um, if they just target Grimmsnarl, I think they might win. Because they could probably E-Speed plus Sucker into the into the Chiyu. But I'm hoping my opponent doesn't realize that. Because that would kind of suck. Aqua Jet. Ooh, Aqua Jet's gonna hurt. That one might actually be a deal breaker. Um, can I crit King Gambit? No, I cannot crit King Gambit. Um, oh, I just kill it right now. So this actually helps a lot. Thankfully, I didn't go for Sucker Punch. If they went for Sucker Punch, I think I lost. Um, because now I can actually deal enough damage with Solo Target Chiyu to why I might be able to win. Um, specifically, Solo Target Chiyu plus the Grimshaw. So I'm going to go for Spirit Break into Dragonite. I think it'll just kill. Because I'm going to guess this is multi skill. They're going to go for Aqua Jet. That's fine. Um, yeah, my goal should always just be to Spirit Break the, the Dragonite. And I think that wins me the game. Um, because I've already popped Terra, obviously, so Dragonite can't be neutral or resisted. Yep, okay, perfect. So solid! I really thought we were going to lose that one, I can't lie. I thought I kind of misplayed. Um, I don't really think that my opponent misplayed exactly. I think I did, truthfully. Uh, but it's one of those things where the misplay didn't end up mattering. I don't even think it benefited me. It just didn't matter. Uh, but I'll take that. Okay, game number two, we're taking on another Snow team. So, thankfully, my opponent did actually give notes for specifically the Tingly matchup. Uh, Gyarados is really good for this. And it gives a nice lead, actually. Uh, they suggested Gyarados D-Knight. Now, I don't know if I wanted to lead off with D-Knight in this game, necessarily. Uh, I think it's a good lead, like, as a whole. Like, the lead concept of Gyarados D-Knight is good. But I don't like it here, uh, because D-Knight's actually not really going to be that good here. Um, let me just make sure. Is this still Terra Normal D-Knight? Is that... Because the pacer's a little inaccurate. It's still Terra Normal. So that might actually not be bad. Um, like, I'm definitely not going to Terra Gyarados here, even though ground isn't terrible. Because of that zone. A abandoned waterfall could actually be pretty decent here, um, because it's probably a more offensive team. Leader. I could go with Gyarados, you know. Actually, that's not terrible here. On um, Terra, Terra normal D Knight could actually put up a lot of pressure with, uh, with like Tailwind plus E Speed, and that could be good. Um, Chiu could be a nice win con, and I think a Spathros final mon might not be terrible. Uh, well, actually, no, Spathros is kind of terrible this game. We're gonna bring, we're gonna bring. I kind of want to bring Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane could be decent in Tailwind. We're gonna bring the score. This is a game where the Spathro definitely should bench. Uh, the Zong and Sarah Lodge are really big issues for this. And they're both coming 100% in tandem with Tingler. Uh, but Spathro can muscle Tingler in theory. This would be kind of difficult. Uh, I would need to position Grim Gyarados especially to try and make that work. And I'm not really about that. Especially when the Zong could be such an issue. And Sarah Lodge could probably just muscle past me anyway. Um, Tinglu Vivian. Okay, Tinglu Vivian is fine, truthfully. I don't mind this lead at all. Now, what I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to go for Terra Normal D Knight because that will get rid of my weakness to the Tinglu. Uh, with multi skill, I should chew this hit pretty comfortably, actually. And I'm going to go for my Ben. I'm going to go for my Banded Waterfall into Tinglu. Actually, do I want Vivian gone? I kind of want Vivian gone. We're going to go for the Waterfall here. Terra Normal E Speed. Pick that off. If I happen to outpace, that's great. But Vivian's definitely max speed timid. And I'm not really looking forward to taking that hit. So I'm not going to bother. Uh, yeah, frankly, I'm not going to bother. So we're going to proceed to just go for the E-Speed instead. I think that'll be for the best. Uh, yeah, we'll just kill Vivian. If they happen to... So they 
for one, they definitely did not tear up the Vion the Ghost, which is huge, because that monster just died. Uh, that would have to be like a no speed Vivion. In fact, I think it might even need to be minus speed, because of the speed difference between Vivion and Dragon's bases, which is good. Uh, yep, okay, so no Terra Normal. I know Terra Ghost, which is good. Probably Sash, though. Didn't even matter. Holy shit. No beta D-Night sucks. Uh, that's fine. That's honestly fine. Tingu, even with a ban, shouldn't do a lot of damage, truthfully. So I'm more than okay with this. I could tail one in the following turn, which is fine. Um, yeah, okay. Perfect. So, Vivian's dead. That removes friend guard support, which is huge. Um, Tingu, how much the slide? This leads me to believe it's more offensive, uh, but truthfully, it could just be Eevee. It wouldn't be too bad, but typically these teams run bad at Tingu's. Uh, which I'm more than fine with. Oh, I could figure this out actually. Because I know the Gyarados spread. Oh, it's a very not bulky Gyarados. But I know the spread. Let's see. Gyarados. Versus Ting. Blue. So minus one. Um, we have 196. And then a four. How much does Rock Slide do? So that did around 80 damage? Um. Yeah, no, that's banded. Oh, that's definitely banded. Um, good to know, good to know. That got a high roll for Ben too, mind you. Like, a, not a max roll, but he was a high roll. Um, okay, this works out pretty well for me. I can go for a waterfall, and then I can proceed to go for a, an extreme speed here. I'm just gonna dual target Tingu though, because there's no reason not to. I don't go for Tailwind against a Zong ever. Um, but, yeah, we did some good damage there. It was a crit. Um, Gyarados probably just gonna pick this off anyway, though, truthfully. But you know what, they went for Tailwind, so probably not gonna go for Trick Room. They're probably just gonna go for body press, but either way, I s that still never was my play for what it's worth to go for any sort of uh, tailwind here to match them. Because then Trick Room would be viable. They're going for Iron Defense, it's fine. Um, my Chiyu can clean this, so I'm okay with that. Uh, it's probably Terra Water Song though, so I do need to keep that in mind. Uh, but even still, Dark Pulse Chiyu plus Flood Amin should be able to muscle this. So I'm more than okay with that. Iron Bundle comes in. Uh, Iron Bundle's a little bit of an issue. Uh, purely because of Freeze Dry, that's the big thing, but I'm not too concerned either way. Um, I think I just let Gyarados go down. Gyarados has served its purpose, but it did really good on me for us. And then I'm gonna proceed to go for... I'm gonna proceed to go for E-Speed here, in a bundle. Um, Dragonite's definitely gonna die. Ooh, okay. This kind of works out, because my Waterfall was into the Zong, so we can at least try and flinch it, which is good. Um, or even a crit, obviously, would be huge, but frankly, I don't know how much that'll matter. Um, actually, no, that'll matter a lot, but I don't know how much I care to get a crit. Bye, Chris. Yep, okay, so d has gone. This is fine. Um, yeah, so Chiyu could still be decent here. Um, obviously I have to bang on my opponent getting a pump. I could just go into Fluttermane. Fluttermane's probably a better bet, actually. Hmm. Yeah, Fluttermane's probably a better bet. And I think, so I know that, uh, I know that obviously it's my best interest just to kill the, the bundle here. Because Bundle could be annoying for Chiyu. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a Moonblast into the Bundle and just pick it off. Now Gyarados might just die. I'm fine with that, truthfully. I don't really care. I don't need to preserve Gyarados, and I don't really need to try and switch around this either just to preserve Gyarados. Um, because Bronzong's only attack is probably going to be Body Slam. It, actually, truthfully, it's either Ditching Protector, it's Ditching uh, Heavy Slam, which either one is fine. Because either it's Walled by Fluttermane to all hell and back, or it doesn't have Protect, and that means I can just continuously attack it. Um, Zong's definitely gonna go for Terra this turn. I'm fully certain of that. It's gonna go for Terra Water. Terra Water or Fire? Um, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Please be Terra Fire. That'd be so huge. Terra Fairy. Okay, Terra Fairy's fine. In all honesty. Um, Terra Fairy, nothing else, is at least not neutral to Fire, which means that Healy might be better if I can kill a bundle. They're going for Pump. Okay, so I don't think they can touch Fluttermane. Which is good. That's really good. This bundle definitely drops. Perfect. And I can flinch Zong, which is fun. Um, we're gonna lose Flutter this turn, probably. So if they have Heavy Slam, we're gonna lose Flutter. But again, I don't know if they have it. Drabble. Okay, so they do have Drabble. Which is still fine, actually. I think I could still win this. Um, now Terra Fairy does mean I need to click Overheat. But Overheat probably just kills. Um, Tailwind beat it out. Perfect. Okay. It didn't really matter, because I still have pace, but it's good to know. Um, so I have Trick Room. Iron, they have Iron Fence, Body Press, and Jar Ball, definitively. So I'm curious about that last move. I guess the question is, how much do we actually do to Bronzong? Bronzong, Terra Fairy versus Chiyu. 
So we are Modest Scarf Chiyu. This is Terra Fairy. How much does Dark Pulse do? Does some okay damage, actually. I can't lie. Um, so I'm kind of curious about if Dark Pulse might be a better play. Because Zong can't kill both my Mons, and getting off the damage would actually be better for me. So I'm actually going to go for Dark Pulse. Uh, Dual Flinch as well is pretty decent. Um, and I might just be able to roll it, or just kill it anyway. Yeah, that, that looks like it just kills. Um, this is definitely a Fizz definitely needs on, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think this is one of those cases where that was better than missing an overheat, because I could have maybe lost the game at that point. Um, especially if I had low-rolled two Waterfalls, or if this was like Agua Berry. Now, it didn't end up being Agua Berry, it would have popped in the Chiyu Dark Pulse, but I'll take it. A uh, good game for my opponent. We win another. Okay, for game number three, we're taking on Dondozo, Tatsugiro, Limoro, Amungo, Iron Bundo, and Iron Hando. So I actually typed out Iron Hando for some reason. I don't know why I didn't type out that for the rest of them. Uh, but anyway, um, so Spather could be pretty decent here. Actually, Spather could be a really decent Dozo check because of the stored power. And they don't have a Dark type. Spather might go ham. Um, I could actually probably lead Kalimus Bathra and then bring Chiyu Flutter. And I could probably muscle their team. Dragonite's matchup's fucking awful, um, but it's a little bit better than Gyarados' matchup at least, which really only matches up well in their hands. Now, it's a really good way around hands, but only if they don't tear it. And I think that there's a chance for that for what it's worth, but I may as well- Like, Chiyu Flutter melts hands so much better anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go with this. I think they're probably gonna lead off with, like, Glamora, which is fine. I don't really care about Glamora lead, truthfully. Um, Glamora lead is actually not a big deal at all. Because what I can proceed to do is I can actually go for Misty Train turn one, which should stop any sort of Mortal Spin shenaniganry. And uh, probably like a Misty Train plus Calm Mind would be my best play. Because there's they're gonna lead off with Iron Hands anyway. So maybe I don't go for that. Um. So maybe I just go for Protect just to avoid getting parried, and then I go for Misty Train. I'm um, not Cover Cloak, but they probably I mean they probably are just gonna fake out a Spatha to be completely honest. Uh, which, really, at this point, it's more so just about avoiding damage, less so about avoiding any other shenanigans. Um, but they're probably going to fake out a path route and then go for Mortal Spin. Uh, and I can completely avoid the Mortal Spin Poison. Uh, Grim, will, uh, Grim will take a little bit of damage, but I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, so what do they do? What do they do? They fake out a path route? They fake out Grim. Okay, good play. See, that was a really good play that they could have made. Um, I didn't think they'd do it, but that's fine, truthfully. Uh, doesn't really matter. Oh. Mortal spin. Okay. So Grim gets poisoned. I don't really care. I more so need a Spath or not to get poisoned. Because it's kind of a good win clone here. Um, now I will say I'm a little bit of a predicament. Specifically that Iron Hands is really offensive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Calm Mind. And I'm going to go for Misty Turn again. Again, my goal is to avoid the poison here. Um, and I can go for Reflect on the following turn as I gain another speed boost. Or maybe even go for a Calm Mind. Depending on what Hands does. Um, I think there's a good chance that Hands just switches, to be completely honest. I think it might avoid Luna Crash. Nope, okay, so it stays in. Still fine with this. I'm still very fine with this. Um, because the second that I avoid the Mortal Spin now, I'm pretty set. Uh, Calm Minus Bathroom will pop here. This should mean that I take, like, nothing if Lamora goes for, like, a Stud Bomb for some reason. I don't think it will, but in case it does, I think it's just gonna go for Mortal. Mortal Spin, yeah, okay, perfect. This does no damage. That's Leftovers Recovery right there. Uh, so Grim would have to go for like a wild charge. No, they're gonna go for Now that does nothing actually, thankfully. I could probably even just calm mind on that. I don't know if I'm going to, but I could. I definitely could. Um Yeah, okay, so what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go for I think I'm gonna go for a Hmm. I could just short power right into that hand spot. Which I think I'm going to do, and then I'm gonna go for a reflect this turn. Reflect should help with any sort of shenanigans. Uh, realistically, my opponent doesn't have a great switch in. My opponent has no switch in, for that matter. And I think even a neutral hands would take enough. Um, a Spathra. For... Stored power. Oh, that hands is gone. No, hands actually took that. Holy shit. Um, we take that pretty well, actually, thankfully. Wild charge. Ugh. Oh, we die. Unfortunate. I really thought we could have had that. I can't lie. Um, I get a little cocky, I guess. Um, but I guess, I don't know. Unfortunate. Hands should definitely drop at least the next Mon, though. Um, which is gonna be Chiyu. Now, Grim should definitely drop to the following hit. So I'm okay with just going for, like... Hmm. So Hands probably doesn't outpace Grim. Uh, just in case. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go for Terra Grass. 
And I'm gonna go for the Snarl here. Snarl should help. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna go for Tyrograss Dark Pulse into Glim. And then I'm gonna go for a Spirit Break into Hands. This should help with any sort of whatever my opponent wants to do here. Um, the Dozo comes in. Okay, please don't go into Dozo and Tatsugiri, because that becomes kind of bad. Okay, thank god, they did not. That works. That works out fine. Um, because I can definitely actually muscle the Dozo pretty well. Thankfully, it can't yawn on me, which is huge. Um, and with Terra Grass, I should actually take this on pretty well. Um, plus Dark Pulse Flinch should work out pretty well against Dozo anyway. Um, Glim's best, best play here would be to go for Sludge Bomb, which would actually be pretty threatening. Power Jump, okay, perfect, thank god. So this is fine. This is more than fine. Um, what I'm going to proceed to do... So I think that there's a high chance that my opponent just proceeds to go for... Hmm. So what do I actually want to do? So Grim might be dead. I might have lost this one, I think. I think I got a little cocky and should have maybe went for the one more boost before I started sweeping. But it is what it is. I'm going to go for Dark Pulse and just hope for like a flinch here. As I get up a light screen, just in case, of Sludge Bomb. Dozo goes for attack. Perfect. Okay, okay. So if I get either a flinch here or just don't die to Sludge Bomb, that's pretty huge. Because I can pick off Flamora on the following turn, which works out well. Um, Dark Pulse goes off. Flinch would be great. Can I get a flinch? I kinda need the flinch. Nope. Okay. Perfect. We just barely take that. Now, I'm going to proceed to go for a... I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse into Dozo. Because I think my opponent probably will just switch out here. But just in case, I'll Spirit Break into the Glim spot. Because I think I can kill Glim at this point. And how many turns of Misty Trainer left? I still have two, right? One. Okay. Ugh. I'm willing to take the Poison Flutter. I think it'll be for the best. Um, Good chance that Dozo just Earthquakes here. I'm fine with that. Alright, Glamour goes, and then Dozo's probably going to Earthquake. Yeah, okay, that'll claim both. I think the game's probably over, but Flutter can pick it off still for what it's worth. Uh, everything's kind of in range. So as long as I kill the Dozo this turn, which could just come down to a crit in all honesty, I think I'm set. Um, but I need Dozo to drop. Which, I don't know if that can happen anymore. Again, if I just protected instead of got, gotten cocky, I think I would have been fine. Um, but sadly I did not do that. I should have protected. This Bather had such a good game, and I just didn't go for it. Flinch, okay. See, this is huge. This is really huge, actually. If I just flinch this down, I'm fine. Um, thankfully, actually, I can bring in Fluttermane now, and that's so much better for me. Um, because even... Yeah, even when Hands comes in, for example, I can still just go for Gleams. And Gleams should win the game. Um, okay, okay. So Mist disappeared, that's fine. Thankfully, my opponent did not get up T-Spikes, so Fluttermane is un undamaged. Um, and everything should just be in range of Gleam at this point, barring Dozo, of course. Um, but I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse here, and I'm gonna go for a Moon Blast here. And I think I can maybe pick this off. Nope, I'm gonna go for Protect. Ah, okay. uh, I think one more flinch will just be safe, but yeah, I don't know. I might be in a rough spot. I need Dozo specifically to go, like, for, like, an Order Up or something. Order Up would be my best case, um, specifically, like, an Order Up in Chiyu. Uh, I forgot if that's a speed boosting Tatsu or not, but if it is, then I think I lose anyway. Um, but if it's not speed boosting, though, then that is my best chance for winning. Now, no matter what Terra, unless they're Steel, I should be fine with this. If they're Terra Steel, Dozo, then I lose. I just lose anyway. Um, Dark Pulse goes off. Okay, can I get a flinch? Flinch or crit here? Order up. Okay. So order up kind of works in my favor if this isn't speed boosting, and I don't think it is. I think it's attack boosting. They all pace my flutter, though, so... Ugh. They're Jolly Dozo. Jolly Dozo, not bad. Attack Rose, okay. Can I crit? I need to crit this. Because now it's actually kind of scary. Nope, okay, if Chi, If... Oh, fuck, okay. Yeah, this game's over. This game is definitely over. Um, unless it's a speed tie. Um, I'm gonna go for Gleam, just sake of, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I just lose to Wave Crash at this point, to be honest. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, it is what it is. This was definitely self-inflicted, though. I could have definitely won that game. Okay, well... Unfortunate. Yeah, I definitely just lose. They're just gonna wave crash and kill, and I have nothing for that. I don't even have enough turns. I'm just gonna forfeit. Save Kurt some time. Okay, next up, we're taking on Screamtail, Chi, Yu, Arbaliva, uh, Dax, Bun, 
Flutter main Torkoal. Okay, so Torkoal could be interesting here. Um, it could be kind of actually deadly for my team that's like a speed boosting Flutter. Uh, for now I'm gonna go with the Spather Grim. I think a Spather Grim is still really good on lead. Um, I don't know if I like Chiyu here, but one mod that I do like here is Flutter Main. Flutter Main is really good. Uh, Chiyu's probably gonna get benched to be completely honest. I don't think it's good at all in this matchup, and I'm probably just gonna go for. I might go for D Knight. D Knight could have a decent purpose. Uh, for one, it's a not bad Terramon. It's also not a bad pre Terramon, to be fair. Um, I could also go with Gyarados. Gyarados could actually be decent. They don't have a great way to break it outside of like T Bolt Flutter, I guess. Uh, yeah, Gyarados is actually really good here. I'm gonna go with Gyarados. Even with the Sun Up, I think I could stall out Sun, truthfully. I don't think it's gonna last the game. It's obviously not a Charcoal Torkoal. Well, not a Charcoal, a He Rock Torkoal. He's probably not a He Rock Torkoal. No one really runs that right now. No. I say that, but Close Sheet is fucking weird, so who knows? Uh, but I think that Gyarados could actually maybe just, even without clearing the sun, just do enough damage with, with uh, Bane of Waterfall and be fun. Um, okay. Chiu and Fluttermane, that's fine. Chiu and Fluttermane is such an easy lead for this team. Because I can proceed to just go for a Protect on this Pather. And then... I'll outspade Chiu, which is good. Um, so I'll go for this, and then I kind of just need to calm mind up and just hope I can win. Um, this matchup's gonna be a little grim, I can't lie. I just realized I have grim on the field. That was an unintentional pun. Unintentional. Um, yeah, I can't lie. This lead's a little rough for me. Uh, but I could, uh, if grim lives, I think I'm just gonna go immediately to Gyarados. But I don't think grim will live past this turn, to be honest. Maybe I'm underestimating how bulky light screen will be, though. It's probably gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be Moonblast. Oh, no, I'm definitely not taking that. Grim took it barely. I'll give it that. Uh, Grim is kind of busted. And then, yeah, they're going for single targets. So, Chiyu is probably Scarf. We'll find out now, I guess, if it's Life Orb or not. Um, is it Life Orb? It's not. Okay. So, that's probably. No, wait. Flutter Kit first. That might be Specs Chiyu, even. That's interesting. I'm gonna bring a Gyarados. Hmm. So one of these mods is probably Specs. Um, my guess is the Chiu and the other one's probably Sash, which is probably Fluttermane, but it could be very well flipped. Um, we're gonna go for Terra Fairy and Calm Mind. Because I think I can definitely take this hit. And then I'll go for a Waterfall into the Chiu, which I think is gonna be the Specs mod. Uh, Specs Chiu Flamethrower could be kinda scary here. But, okay, they're gonna withdraw Fluttermane, which is huge, because that means that I'm definitely not gonna die to Chiu between the Light Screen as well as the... As between the light screen and the calm mind, I should be set here. They're gonna withdraw the other mon here, which is going to be Dax Bun. Okay, that's so good because no, no Tokol means that Gyarados is actually super fucking viable. And no Screen Tail means that I'm actually not gonna get fucked going for calm mind strats. This might actually be a perfect scenario for me. Because I can definitely set up calm minds on these pretty effortlessly. I could also just go for killing the Dax because the Waterfall plus Store Power will definitely kick that off. Um, I can maybe even kill Arbor Leva just outright. But I don't know if I want to target our Believer. Just the thing. I think I'd rather just untarget it. But getting up that grassy turn might be good for me. Um How much does Waterfall do? That does a lot. Okay, I can just kill Dax. Yeah, I can kill Dax, because that could maybe go for like Yawn or Wish or some other support and be unruly. And then proceed go for So I'm gonna go for Protect for sure, because I get around any sort of Yawn into Espathra, which is the mod I need to not get yawned. So we're gonna protect. And then I'm going to proceed to Waterfall the Dax. Waterfalling the Dax is pretty huge for me. And then I can probably just start going for anything, really. Um, as long as it's not like a tire resistant Dax, I'm set here. I believe it goes for Terra. Perfect. That's like the best case scenario. Terra, water. Perfectly fine with that. Um, now, Espathra versus Arbeliva. Store power doesn't look like it does a ton. Um... Yeah, I should do about half, which I'm okay with that. Maybe it'll all scare us. Okay. This should still kill. Perfect. Okay, Dax is gone. Alright, so I'll take this. I'll take this for sure. And then our is going for strength tap the Gyarados. Okay, so they're trying to just weaken my attack, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um, I could definitely just go right into Fluttermane here. And then go for another Calm Mind. Because the Spathra at plus two should be able to win. Um... With plus two, plus two, plus four. Even our believer just drops, guaranteed, which is huge. So I'm gonna go for another calm mind here, and then I'm gonna go into Fluttermane. 
if Flutterbane drops, so be it. But I don't really mind. Um, I'm a firm believer at this point that that is probably some sort of Sash Flutterbane. Um, they're gonna withdraw our Believer here. Okay. That's fine. Um, they're probably going for Gleam. I wonder if they're Scarf Flutterman. They probably wouldn't be Scarf. I feel like it's kind of a bad play. But who knows? Who really knows, to be honest? We can figure out damage rolls here, though. Um, whether it's the... Whether it's the Flutterman... Alright, whether it's the Flutterman or the Spath of the Target. Thunderbolt, okay. Um, that doesn't do a lot. That's pretty good for me, actually. That's really good for me. Um, okay. So what I'm gonna proceed to do, I'm gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam here. And then I'm gonna go for another Dazzling Gleam here. I think the combination of these should pick off both Pokemon Juice Flame. They're gonna withdraw Fluttermane, that's fine. Um, bringing in Arbeliva is pretty big for me, I can't lie. And I think that Shiyu does just draw to this. Um, Dazzling Gleam, Terra Fairy. That does... Okay, that's about as much as I kind of thought it would do. Um, but I'll take this. This is fine, actually. And then Fluttermane should also outpace and just get off a nice gleam. Um, okay. Perfect. So Chiyu, ooh, Chiyu crit. That might have mattered. Well, actually, no. Fluttermane. We are life orb. Does that actually matter? That doesn't look like it mattered, actually. That looks like it should have done around, like, 65. So actually, that looks like it's a pretty guaranteed kill. So I think it's Spathor just wins. Actually, pretty good win gone, I can't lie. Um, this thing is really fucking good. I just go for dual gleam again. Because Flutterman can't kill me. Um, that I believe it dies no matter what. And Flutterman, even if it's Sash, should just die to the next hit. So honestly, this path is looking kinda spicy, I can't lie. Muy, muy caliente. Yeah, this gleam should just pick off our believer guaranteed, and then uh that that Flutterman takes the hit pretty well, I will say. Um, I'm kinda curious actually. So Flutterman versus Espathra. So, 4, plus 2, Terra Fairy, doesn't it? Okay, that looks about right, actually. That checks out. I, for some reason, I was thinking that might have been AV, but no, that's just normal. Um, okay, so Spaka should just win. Uh, plus 2, plus 2. And then, we're at plus 6 now, I think, for speed, which is huge. Um, so Sword Power should do... How much does Sword Power actually do? 150% minimum. Yeah, I think that's in range. I think even a Terra Steel set's in range at this point. Um, like, even a really bulky Terra Steel set is in range. Which, they're not Terra, spoiler alert. So, we win. Good job. This Patrick kind of coming in clutch. Honestly, this, this bird is kind of fire. This bird is definitely fire. Um, but good play to my opponent. We'll take that for sure. Now, despite the fact that you guys saw a lot of wins in this portion, unfortunately, the back end was not so kind. I had a lot of losses after getting those few, first few wins, and unfortunately, I failed to make Master Ball today. But that's honestly fine. I still think the team is really good, and if you want to try it out yourselves, the link to the paste as well as the rental will be down below. Regulation D is going to start very soon, though, and I don't know how this team will do in that format. But if you guys enjoy it anyway, and you want to see some more content like this for Regulation D, like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out Kurt as well, who's going to be bringing back a ton of content in the very near future. Also, shout out to our channel members. For just a couple dollars a month, you can get access to two bonus videos, and we're going to be pulling the next challenge run very shortly on the channel. For our channel members this month, of course, we have Mia, Zeke Zero, Bebat, Timo Mueller, Sam, Bam Bambi, Rao Plays, Obo, Johannes B, and Dell, aka Double. Thank you all for your extra support this month. With that said, I'm going to see you guys Monday for the next video. Until then, peace out, guys.